Hello, this is Rob here from robcoven.com. Now I want to show you the value of Google Analytics and I'm going to show you the Google Analytics from my site robcoven.com and this is a site that gets a decent amount of traffic. First of all, when you go to Google Analytics, you can go up here and choose a longish period of time. So here I'm looking at just less than two and a half months. So always look at a decent amount of time, maybe a month or so. And there you can see all the visitors that have arrived at my site. And if you go down to acquisition, all traffic channels, you can see exactly where they've come from. Organic search, that's Google mostly, that gives me the most amount of traffic. After that it's direct. Now direct is quite annoying because you don't actually know where they come from. They may have typed in the URL in their address bar in their browser or they've come from a link that Google can't recognize. Referral is other sites. So if somebody links to you and you get traffic from that link, that will be under referral. And social, of course, is coming from social sites. So if a post of yours does very well on Facebook, then of course the traffic goes into this column. And if you send an email with a link to your site, maybe through an email marketing service like MailChimp or Aweber, then it will go into this category or it may up even show up in direct. But you can drill down into any of these sections. So if you go into social, there you can see how much comes from Facebook, Twitter, and the other social sites. Same with referral. And if you go into organic search, you then actually see some really interesting information. I'll put more rows on the page so we can see even more. Now, unfortunately, at the top here, you can see that Google actually withholds 95% of this information, but you still get the keywords that visitors have typed into Google and other search engines before they came into your site. So this is actually looking into the mind of your customers or your visitors, because you can see what they're interested in. And what's very useful here as well is if you can see something that you haven't written about, you might want to write about it. If there is an idea for content here, so for example, dimensions for creating ebook in InDesign, I haven't actually created content about that. So if I did create content on that, I would maybe get more traffic from Google because Google is sending me traffic from those keywords anyway. So that would suggest that there's nothing else on the internet that is very relevant to those keywords. Otherwise, Google would be sending the traffic elsewhere. So you can spend quite a lot of time looking in these results. They're very interesting. But that's not all. You can have a look at your audience. And there's lots of information here like where they're from, demographics, age and gender. Of course, you can't be certain about much of this information. I'm not sure how Google knows the gender of everyone who is using their search engine, but you can certainly see the percentage on mobile and the percentage on desktop. And you can see where they are in the world and you can see their behavior, how many of them are new and how many of them return. But under the behavior tab, there is even more information because this shows you what's popular and what isn't. So you can have a look at that and see which is the most popular pages on your website and see if you want to create more content around those very popular areas. Sometimes you won't want to. Sometimes it's a bit unfortunate that Google sends you loads of traffic to blog post titles that you aren't really interested in and they are avenues that you don't really want to create any more content on because you can't sell anything from it or you're just not interested in it or you think that's not the way your company's going. However, if you see that content is popular and it is relevant to the products you create and the direction of your business, then of course you will want to create more content on those very popular areas. And you find that out by going behavior overview and to get even more information, click view full report down the bottom right. And then you can 
have a look at more rows so you can see the top 50 most popular pages. So I hope that helps you. A little overview to the incredible importance and valuable information of Google Analytics. My name's Rob from robcoven.com. I'll see you in the next video.